Hey everyone and happy Dragon Age Day. Just like with N7 Day for the next Mass Effect game, Bioware have released a brand new trailer showing off in-game locales from Dragon Age Dreadwolf, as well as updates on their website, as well as the announcement of when we'll actually next see the game in all of its full gameplay glory. So firstly, let's break down the trailer itself. The new trailer, titled Fedus Calls, is a 40 second trailer showing off the new realm we'll be traversing in Dragon Age Dreadwolf. Now by the way, before we go any further, I'm not a massive Dragon Age fan, I'm more of a Mass Effect fan, so if I do mispronunciate some of the locations and other things, um, please let me off the hook, I'm trying my best. <laughs> Firstly, we see the message throughout the trailer of this is a mixture of cinematics and gameplay showing off in-game locations for the very first time. Nextly, we see the following locations, Antiva and Teveso, Ravain, Anderfels and Vice Hooked. I've, I've, I've really tried with that one, I'm not gonna lie. And then we have zoom out shots of the world map itself. By the way, each location is depicted in cinematics on the world map and with then small glimpses of gameplay of each location after it. So let's start off with Antiva and Teveso. We get glimpses of skyscrapers, ravens, crows, as well as tall buildings, and maybe even a forest in the background. We've already seen this location in past trailers for Dragon Age Dreadwolf, with this location being a sprawling, bustling cityscape, with a central tower holding importance on the right-hand side, as well as on the world map. Next up is Ravain. Ravain seems to be depicted with a coastline and a kraken or squid creature over the actual continent itself on the world map. Now for the gameplay itself we can see beaches, sand, desert, caves with sort of shipwrecks and ships in the water in the background and with a blue roofed building in shot. All seem to be abandoned and with rubble, basically surrounded by sort of ruins and buildings inside of what looks like to be a bit of a cave or at least an overhanging cliff, with tropical trees in the background. Nextly is Anderfels and Weishaupt. They are depicted with two statues, one of a woman holding a sword and another of a bird-like creature, sort of like an eagle or a phoenix or something rather of that nature. As for the gameplay shot, we can see a castle on a cliff with a huge hoop spikes around it. And remember, if you look back at last year's gameplay leaks, if you actually sort of spoilt it for yourself and looked at those gameplay leaks, this is actually the location from those leaks, so if you remember Remember that, cool. We also see storms and lightning here with the castle sort of with green lighting or green flames in the background, which could interact with us in gameplay, with maybe lightning striking areas around us affecting combat and traversal. And again we get a shot of all of these locations as a whole world map, so you can see which location is next to which location. Now, as for the dialogue in the trailer, we can hear various different people talking, and it seems to be people, sort of like the individual bits of dialogue, could involve stories and characters within each of these different continents and countries. The first line of dialogue says, We fight for everyone and always will, as well as, the crows rule Antiva, and this seems to be sort of the central plot point with Antiva. We've seen these crow characters in concept art, as well as the sort of reveal trailer at 2020, as well as different other pits like comics, so again we'll probably see them more in trailers to come soon. We then get glory to the risen gods, they come to deliver us this world in Ravain. Again this could be the story of Ravain, it's something to do with the actual risen gods. Next up in Anderfels we get Grey Wardens don't hide in our castles. I won't ask good soldiers to run and turn tail. Now this is really interesting because I imagine this has something to do with sort of the obviously the Grey Wardens in the Dragon Age universe as well as sort of the main castle that we see and from the gameplay leak we do sort of hear about going into castles and dungeons so I feel like in this country all of that is going to follow suit and it's going to involve some kind of a big battle with a storm. And finally we get a quote from presumably Solus or another character, I'll go into that in a bit more detail later on, saying the following. All the world will soon share the peace and comfort of my reign. Emphasising that perhaps he will be the dread wolf and the main antagonist of this game if this is indeed Solus, followed by some ominous howling at the very end. 
We then get the massive reveal that the full reveal event will take place in the summer of 2024. Now this is a bit of a letdown as it seems that it's a bit of a ways off and many people thought that's when the game would be releasing, but at the end of the day this is going to need its own dedicated video to unpack all of that in terms of the reveal in 2024, but hopefully this means that we'll get a full 2024 release date or even a early 2025 release date because at the end of the day the release date for Dragon Age will heavily impact Mass Effect. Maybe we'll also see some more gameplay as well as maybe a sort of longer trailer at the Game Awards on the 7th of December. Again we'll have to wait and see so temper your expectations for now. Next up, if you go to the Bioware Dragon Age Dreadwolf website, it has been updated and the following is presented to us. Enter the world of Fedus, a vibrant land of rugged wilderness, treacherous labyrinths and glittering cities, steeped in savage combat and secret magics. Now, the fate of this world teeters on a knife's edge. Fedus needs a new leader, one they'll never see coming. You'll forge a courageous fellowship to challenge the gathering storm. Friendship, drama and romance will inbound as you bring striking individuals together in an extraordinary team. Become the leader and light the beacon of hope in their darkest moments. So it definitely seems as though we'll be a leader once again in Dragon Age Dreadwolf, and this also confirms the sort of Bioware RPG staples such as companions, romances and general drama will all be returning, with the game also confirmed to release on PS5, Xbox Series consoles, Steam and the Epic Game Stores as you're able to actually wishlist the game on all four of those. By the way, you can even wishlist the game right now as well as signing up for future updates on the website, so if you are into Dragon Age and are really dedicated to sort of the, the news for Dreadwolf, not only subscribe to the channel as I will be covering Dreadwolf, but I'd advise that you go on the website and sort of click the button that says stay up to date. And again, Solus, the Dreadwolf, used to be an elven god who woke from his long slumber to rally his people by destroying the barrier between the magical and material worlds, which will wipe out everyone who isn't an elf. This is going to probably be sort of the main story going into Dragon Age Dreadwolf. However, this final voiceover speaks about how the world will know the peace and comfort of his reign, and upon second hearing, this might not be soulless. I mean, the only reason that it, it sort of, to me at least, sounded like soulless is that obviously we hear that sort of voiceover with the howling at the end symbolizing the Dreadwolf. But again, the voice sounds slightly different to me. So at the end of the day, we don't know as of writing this, but I'd, I would put a you know, pretty big guess on this being soulless. Again, I'm not a massive Dragon Age fan. I'm sort of slowly getting into Dragon Age. I'm currently playing through Origin still for crying out loud and up until Dreadwolf comes out I will be playing through all the games. So tell me in the comments below, do you think that's soulless? What do you think about the new trailer we got as well as the new information? And what do you think about the full reveal event being in 2024 in the summertime? What do you think it means for the reveal date? Tell me in the comments below. And for more Dragon Age, Bioware and Mass Effect content, don't forget to say subscribe to the channel, like the video and share with your fellow comrades. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.